Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. The Grand Princess has arrived in Nanaimo, bringing with her more than 2,000 passengers. After 14 years at the museum, David Hill Turner retires, catching up when life seems to pass us by and swinging from the treetops at Wild Play. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It's a pretty exciting day for downtown Nanaimo today as more than 2,000 passengers disembark from the Grand Princess are made and greeted here by various representatives from our fair city and then they head out spending all day at things like the farmers market, shopping in the downtown core, eating at our restaurants. We're going to talk about what Nanaimo looks like to some of these passengers later on this edition of Go Island. One of the places they might visit is the Nanaimo Museum. One person they won't see there anymore is David Hill Turner, the curator, because he's retired. It's great to see so many people and so much energy here at the Nanaimo cruise ship terminal. Doug Peterson is the manager of marketing and sales, and, and you had this vision back in 2003? We did. We, we started, uh, this, this was our, our previous CEO, Bill Mills. Uh, this was part of, part of his vision, and I was certainly part of it, and we, we created by, um, I guess, sort of hard knocks. We, we sort of paid our dues, we paid a lot of visits to the cruise lines. And uh, the world of residency started us off, and uh, we've, we've sort of continued on ever since then. 2005, we got uh, six calls, and uh, this, this year we only have two calls, unfortunately, but uh, next year is a much better year. We're just so excited to get the, the Grand Princess in today. What do you attribute the decline in, in the number of ships to? Well, the, the decline right now is the, uh, the, the ICA. It's the... It's the um, economic control area and the ships have to burn low sulfur fuels so as a result the, the costs have gone way up and uh, so discretionary reposition calls like ourselves have uh, have sort of been compromised with it uh, however as well the, the ships also aren't spending the time doing reposition cruises as they were quite often now they finish their itineraries and they move on to the next itinerary very very quickly for those who don't know what is a repositioning itinerary well a, a re repositioning is when before before the ship for example starts its Alaska itinerary which is where this one is going where this one is going is that, is that it may start in Los Angeles and it'll do three or four calls before it stops in Vancouver and is there permanently for the summer okay Excellent. So this one's heading up to Alaska. And what is the role of the Port Authority now? You're meeting and greeting and just making sure everyone's experience is a good one as they arrive? Absolutely. We're, what, what we try to do is uh, we try to make the, the experience of the visitor just absolutely seamless. We want this to be a great experience for them. We want them to come back. So we work very closely with the ship, uh, with the DNBIA, with tourism, with the city. Uh, the RCMP will be down probably in a few minutes. So we, we try to pull it all together and just make it a, a really special a special experience for all the cruise passengers. There's a lot on the line. It's our reputation on the well, line it's, here. It's absolutely. I mean, we're, we're all together on this, and that's the one thing is that, is that we want to be together and pull together, say, just, just this, this wonderful experience for, for everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. I almost chased a man out of here with an Nanaimo bar for him to try. That's the kind of together that we're talking about. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with more from the Grand Princess cruise ship. Still to come today, slowing life down with Vagabond Girl and taking to the treetops at Wild Play Elements Park. Hi, I'm Jeff Lott, President of Nanaimo's 2014 BC Summer Games. Did you know that July 17th, 7 p.m., is our opening ceremonies in Rotary Bowl? Please come out and support the over 3,000 athletes that are coming to our community to participate in 19 different sports. We look forward to having you here. Thank you. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Very exciting, putting Nanaimo's best face forward to more than, well, close to 2,500, I'm told, passengers arriving on the Grand Princess. How important is this to tourism in Nanaimo? Cruising is really important to the economy of Nanaimo, and we're really excited to welcome the Grand Princess today. Uh, this is actually a really special visit. It's the longest visit that we've had from a cruise ship, and we're being given an opportunity to really wow the cruise line to drive further business in the future. 
I imagine there's a lot of thought and maybe pressure into what is the impression, the thoughts and the stories that people are going to take away because tourism is about more than the experience that's happening in the moment. It's what they're going to take away with them and what we can get down the future. Absolutely. Uh, tourism is a competitive business, so we're always trying to think of what are the kinds of unique things that we can promote to the passengers so that they become advocates for our destination in the future. They tell their friends who tell their friends. So we've put lots of preparation and planning together with the port and the uh, downtown Nanaimo Business Association to creating some great events and things for people to do as well as promoting the Nanaimo Bar trail for example giving out some samples of Nanaimo bars which are uniquely authentic to yeah. Nanaimo and a great experience for the passengers excellent thank you and it is an opportunity for the downtown business improvement association to really shine what have you guys prepared for the passengers here today Corey well it's been a great partnership with tourism Nanaimo and the Port Authority excellent now you think it's a lot of things for people to participate in and I think of the downtown business association you know Easter time it's local and, and the activities that are really put on for the locals. But this is a chance to really reach out and, and make a big impression that's going to have a long reach. It is, for sure. It's a great time for our businesses to shine. We've got 2,000 plus people walking in our streets and uh, they just want to make the best impression that they can. And we have some awesome businesses downtown. How, how excited have the businesses been leading Super up Super excited. It? Everybody yeah. wants to know uh, how to address the visitor and, and what we can do to make it uh, extra special. Excellent. Okay, and I know that we're having a lot of art uh, making uh, headlines in Nanaimo specifically for these cruise ship passengers. It's all thanks to Willow at Iron Oxide. They're doing an art bomb and we're going to talk about that tomorrow on Go Island. In the meantime, we're throwing things over to Rayanne LaPlante. We all know the feeling that somehow life is passing us by. We're just too busy and we're stuck in a rut. Well, what happens when something forces you to jump off? Here's Rayanne LaPlante. We're going to try to be helpful here today. There's some folks here that are looking at their maps of Nanaimo, trying to figure out where they're going to go. Where, where are you from? San Francisco. Okay, and have you ever been to Nanaimo before? No, not at all. What did you hear about it before you got here? Mm, not much. No. Not much. That's not a good thing. Is there one spot you're trying to find? Maybe we can help you out. No, we just wanted to take a walk, so okay. they gave us the map and we were going to walk around town. What do you suggest? Well, the downtown core is quaint and beautiful. Great. You can walk it all. You get a little bit of exercise, uh, lots of individual boutiques. Is there any kind of shopping that you're looking for? You're going to buy me a present? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lots of great restaurants. You guys are here all day, right? Yes, until I think 11 o'clock at night or Excellent. something like that. Okay, well, it's a little bit of a walk to get out of the area. And please don't let your first impression of this site be stay with you well, for too long. beautiful, this building, right? Yes. So your yes. new building. Have you done much cruising before? A little bit, but not a lot, no. Okay, excellent. Well, have a great day. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for coming. Have a good one. <laughs> they have to get out of this area first, and then things will start looking a little bit prettier, and maybe that's something we should have talked to Doug Peterson about, what being done to beautify the area and the first impression. We'll do that in an upcoming edition of Go Island, I'm sure. We're going to take a short break now. We'll be back with more. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. You're looking very official today. Thank you very Mr. much. Mr. Mayor, what's your role here? This is the chain of office. Well, as the mayor, um, I try to greet every ship that comes in. Um, I can't spend all of the time down there, but I like to spend um, an hour and a half or two hours and try to greet as many people coming off the ship and just welcome them to Nanaimo. I saw you a few minutes ago loaning out your cell phone because someone well, didn't want to use their data roaming charges. <laughs> exactly that. And a uh, nice uh, group of people from San Francisco, and, and uh, they were looking for a pay phone, and I don't think there is one. If there is, we couldn't find it. So I said, look, use mine. And so is it, this is the first cruise ship of the season coming in, and there's only two, from what I understand? Yeah, two large ones. Um, the, the, the Grand Princess, the one that's in today with us, um, and then uh, Celebrity Solstice will be in in, in, uh, in September. And it does look huge. It's yeah, it's even bigger than the ship behind us. Um, the, the we read, everyone wanted more, of course, you know. And, and um, but I, I think as the economy still a little soft south of the border, and, and uh, but it's cyclic, you know. And I know it's going to come back. I know we're going to. Um, have this great facility uh, just buzzing with people. Are there other smaller, what they call pocket cruise ships? Pocket cruise in? ships, yeah. There's been one or maybe two already, and I think there might be a couple more visits. So 
um, but they're very small, based out of, out of Seattle. Um, and then they'll go up and work part of uh, the Alaska run as well, the southern part. I imagine it's very competitive. All other cities on the island sort of vying for these cruise ships. How hard does Nanaimo have to fight to bring these ships here? Well, I mean, that's the issue. Um, you know, for us, it, it's a port of call. And uh, Victoria has um, a number of calls. I think they have something like 200 ships visits. So <laughs> I think as it unfolds, uh, but Nanaimo has a niche market. And I think we're really well positioned to take advantage of it, particularly ships based out of Seattle for the summer. Um, and when they come up, well, you can uh, take advantage of them here, show them all that Nanaimo has to offer, and uh, entertain them royally. I'm laughing because I think we're, we're, we're <laughs> becoming a photo op here. And there's wow. some people here that are wanting their photo. This is the mayor, hi, Mr. Hi. John Rattan. Hi, <laughs> um, we'll we'll, we'll let you do your job, John. And we'll, we'll head outside this time of year as the weather gets better. More and more people are heading outside. Maybe some of these folks will head down to Wild Play Elements Park. That's exactly where Kelly Robinson and Todd Jones are right now, swinging from the treetops. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. It kind of makes me want to go on a vacation myself, watching all of these people plan their day, anticipate their day, how they're going to spend it. About 400 people, from what I understand, are experiencing shore excursions, some visiting Cathedral Grove, some local wineries, maybe out to Little Qualicum Falls as well. Yeah, I think it's time for a holiday. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.